Okay, so here we go. And we're gonna go ahead and put together our starfish. And I wanna begin by just kind of getting some things out of the way. So we're gonna work on some of the more simple elements here. We have these two pieces that are gonna get glued on top of each other. And I took and just with a, a nice turquoise color, just kind of inked it a little bit just to kind of give it a little bit of a gradient effect so it's not just plain. And what we're gonna do, let me make sure my glue bottle is working properly. We're just gonna go ahead and glue that down onto our foil piece here. Okay, so glue has been acting a little weird today. But there we go. Just gonna get that right on there. Maybe just a little bit up by the waves. And wouldn't you know it, I just so happen to be going to the beach this weekend for the first time all year. So that's exciting. So we'll get that lined up. Make sure that it's nice and flush at the bottom and just push that down. Okay, so we've got that piece glued together. Let's put that aside and let it set. And we can go ahead and grab our frame. Okay, so it's just these two pieces. And what I kind of did with, um, this frame is pretty much the same on the shellfish. Don't be shellfish. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and what I did last time was, and you do have to make sure that this is aligned properly because it's not completely geometric. Okay, so it goes like that. I'm gonna flip it like this. And what I did was I did half of this thing as far as the glue and then I just kind of lifted up the other half after I got the first half down because it's a lot of little a lot of little areas and I just I don't think that it's wise to try to get the whole thing glued down in one shot because your glue is going to start drying and then it's just going to lift off so I'm going to just do literally a half of this Okay, I'm just getting my glue all along these little nooks and crannies. Okay, and I can already tell that portion of this thing is already starting to dry up here. So I'm gonna reapply a little bit more up here where I see that it's starting to dry. Okay, and it may help to stand up and do this. Just get that nice and aligned. Okay, and then push down. I don't remember which side I put the glue on, but that's okay. So get that nice and centered. And make sure that it sticks. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. And I believe it's, well, I was wrong. Let's see which side it is here that I didn't put glue on. Well, that's the side with the glue. So I'm assuming that it's this side here. Okay, right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this half up and apply my glue to the areas that I didn't do initially. Okay, just make sure it, make sure that you just be very gentle with the glue here. You don't want a lot so that you don't warp the paper. You want just enough and just just enough areas to get it to really stay. Okay. There we go. And then just work a little bit into these little nooks and crannies here. Now you can try um, spray adhesive if you want. As I mentioned in the, In the other video, I just haven't had a lot of success with it. And maybe I just didn't get the right one. But this works just fine. Okay. So, next step is to take your, take this piece here. Okay. And you are going to have a series of score marks on here. And those score marks are for our little coral piece. Let me find that. So I can show you, and you'll see here at the bottom, these little score lines are going, to, you're gonna use those to kind of figure out 
where the coral actually sits. Okay, so we can put that on now, we can put it on later, and there's also a couple up here that will help you kind of figure out where that goes. I did a, a nice little inking job with this. Um, I did some dark pink on here because some of that, some of the, usually the coral that you see, not all of it, but the stuff that really stands out is usually a very nice pink color. Okay, let's do the waves first. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over <clears throat> and I'm gonna get out my foam squares. And what we wanna do is take our foam squares and apply them to the back. I'm gonna do two on one side there on the top and bottom, two on the other side, okay? Just like that. And then we wanna go ahead and find the center. As close as you can get to center is fine. And do two there, okay? And then just kind of flip it over and I'm kind of just pushing here and I don't like how much that's giving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and reinforce that by putting one more little piece in the middle there, okay? And that should do the trick. So I'm gonna grab my razor blade and peel off the backings. So what we're doing is we're putting the waves down first and then we're gonna put the frame on now, part of the frame is gonna be one layer of um, these foam squares. Another part of it is gonna be two layers. And I'll show you exactly how that works here in just a second. Okay, so we'll peel that off and make sure that you've got a good overhead view of your base canvas piece, I will call this and just get that nice and aligned, flush with the bottom, flush with the sides, and voila. Just push that down, hold it in place, okay? And you know what, it may be a good idea to just get our coral piece in place here. Okay, and again, you've got the little guides there to help you figure out where it goes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna anchor this piece with glue at the bottom Okay, and I'm not gonna put glue on the whole thing yet because I kinda want this little piece to be dimensional too. Um, so get that nice and aligned, like so. Make sure that you've got those top parts aligned with the little guides there. Okay, and I've got a little part here where it didn't cut perfectly. So I'm gonna just scrape that away with my razor blade. Just peel it back, there we go. Okay, so that looks nice. And our starfish is gonna be covering up that little part there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna put glue just on these tips where uh, we have the little guides. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue those in place. But everything else is just going to just kind of remain raised off the paper slightly, just as you see it there. And then I'm gonna put glue on this little tip here where those other guides are. And I'm gonna glue that down and that's gonna hold it nicely in place, just at those little sections there. But everything else, as you can see, it's kind of giving off a little bit of a shadow. And that's the whole idea with these paper sculptures is to like really create interest by using um, shadows and light. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda, just slightly, you don't wanna overdo it on this, just kind of train these pieces out a little bit, just so they stick out, just a tiny little bit, just like that. I'm happy with that, I don't wanna overdo it, okay? So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our frame, and our frame is gonna go on like so, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one layer of foam squares up to this little um, scallop here, okay? So anything below the scallop is gonna be one layer. Anything above it is gonna be two layers of foam squares, okay? So it doesn't really matter which size, or which side, I should say. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin putting my foam squares down on the bottom section. Okay, so this is the bottom section. Remember, let's stay below that first little scallop Okay, 
and I am gonna go ahead and center one here. I'm gonna flip this over and just kind of do the push test. If you push and it really gives too much, then you know that you need a little bit more reinforcement in between those two little foam squares that are kind of keeping this thing propped up. Okay, and I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna put one here. And now, let me get seated here. We're gonna fill up the rest of this with more foam squares, um, but we're gonna start up here. Now remember, these are gonna be two layers, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do these as I go. So we're putting two layers on this here because we need that to be uh, raised a little bit higher because this is gonna be going on our little wave at the bottom. And that bottom part doesn't need two layers because we already have one layer because of the waves. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this as I go here. These foam squares, I got mine at Joanne. I think Diana probably got some at Michael's. And I think with a coupon, I think I got mine for like three bucks or something. So it's not bad because these things are nice and permanent and I don't have to worry about the glue coming loose or anything like that. These things, these things hold up really, really well. Okay, so again, two layers of foam squares above that little scallop there. Okay, and if you're making three of these, or if you're making all three in the bundle, I'd probably recommend getting two packs of the foam squares. Um, I really prefer using the half inch foam squares. They just, they stay better. They've got more surface area, so they don't wiggle. And they just create a nice little support for our project. Okay, so I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna put one here. I do have to double layer those. Don't forget that we gotta you gotta raise that up a little bit there and there. Okay, so, oh, I took these off. Shouldn't have done that, that's okay. Just gotta make sure we work semi quickly here so that our little backing doesn't dry out. Okay, let me get my other foam squares here. Uh, I need to peel that off, okay, pop that on there. So you get the idea here. What we're doing is just, it's kind of just a puzzle with different layers and different areas. This is probably the trickiest part, but it's not even that hard. You just gotta make sure that you're paying attention and getting your foam squares in the right place and everything's gonna come out Perfect, so there we go. We've got two layers above the scallop, one layer below the scallop. And at this point, we can go ahead and take off the backings on all of these. And we're gonna go ahead and lay this down onto our little frame over there, or onto the base or the canvas, as I'm gonna call it from here on out. Okay, so the razor blade really helps. It's got, uh, there's a lot of force in one little tiny area and that just helps lift this up. I um, have fingernails, but they don't seem to really get in there very well because that sticky stuff is really sticky and it holds that backing on really well. So just do your best to get that stuff off. And in just a minute here, we will have a lot of this already completed. All we really have to work on is our little starfish and that's not even that difficult because we've made it super easy for you so let's get all these back looks like we've got all the backings off now so again i would recommend doing this um, with kind of a just making sure that you kind of got a bird's eye view of everything okay so remember the section with the single layer of foam squares is going to go on the bottom and then the ones with the two layers are gonna go on top. So do your best to get that nice and aligned and centered. 
and go ahead and drop it and just push down nice and gently to create your little frame. There we go. Okay, so that looks great. All right, so I have these little sand dollars here and what I did before, and I'll show you again, I actually took some scissors um, and these are the quarter inch um, foam squares. I'm literally just cutting them into you know, now they're eighth inch by quarter inch foam squares. And these fit nicely on the back of our sand dollar. Okay, so I'm gonna put roughly three of them on here. Okay, there's one. Get the second one on there. For some reason, after you cut these, the backing comes off really easily. I guess we kind of... Okay, so just kind of do it like a little tripod in the center there and then take the backing off. Of course, just as I say that, this one's giving me a... Oh, there it goes. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and get that nice and centered in that corner and pop that right into place. And I also ink this with a nice brown tan color. Okay, so you're gonna put your, your little sand dollars in all four corners here with pop dots, just to kind of give them some dimension. And then we can go ahead and move on to our starfish here in just a second. Okay, so here is our frame. It's looking pretty good. And we can begin working on our little starfish here. It's actually very simple. Okay, so here is the base that we will be applying all the different segments to. I just took a, a nice brown. I inked this on the edge and then I did a little gradient effect um, kind of coming in a little bit. And I've already folded and inked three of these. We're gonna go through two. I'll show you how to do those. And then these little overlays, I already did three of those. I've got two to show you. There's a little flower here that I inked. And then this is the overlay for that flower. Didn't do anything to that. We did that in a nice silver. Okay, so that just leaves these pieces here. And this is what's gonna make up the actual starfish. So what we wanna do is we wanna take and just fold everything at the score marks here, okay? And we also want to fold this, but we're not going to put any glue on this piece here. That just is going to remain um, just the way it is. Okay, so what I did was, actually, let me see if I can find my ink pad. There's my ink pad. Okay, actually, before I inked it, this 3 8 inch dowel is going to be your best friend. I would definitely pick one of these up. Um, what you're gonna do is I'm just taking this piece and just kind of cupping it in my hand, um, just against the soft part of my, my hand here, leaving it right about there. And I'm taking this dowel and just kind of pushing down and rolling it in the palm of my hand, okay? And that's just to kind of give it a natural little curve. Okay, so you'll see here how that kind of curves now. Okay, let me see, show you from this angle, see that? And that's what we're looking for. We don't want to crease it. And that part's fine. You're going to leave that alone. Okay. So let me show you that one more time while it's still kind of fresh in your mind here. So we're just going to fold at the score marks. I'm going to pop that in my hand like so. Take the dowel and I'm applying pressure with this hand here, with my right hand, and then just kind of rolling it in the palm of my hand. Okay. Just like that. There we go. And we've got a nice natural curve to the paper there. Okay. Um, these little overlay pieces, I did the exact same thing. I just kind of held it in my hand and I just pushed down and just rolled. Just rolled it. Okay. And that also gives it a nice natural curve. The paper will remarkably stay that way. It's really cool. Okay. So just kind of rolling that in my hand, just like that, just to kind of give it a curve, just so that it goes on a lot easier. It's almost impossible to put a flat piece of paper on a round piece of paper. 
Okay, so that's how you do that. And as far as the inking goes, I did inking in a lot of these pieces here. Um, I really like these VersaMagic ink pads. And all I'm doing is just kind of just running it along the edge of the little part of the starfish here. Uh, that top part there, you're probably not going to see, so you really don't need to ink that, but I'm just, just going to cover all my bases here and make sure that. And then I'm also kind of working in, not just along the edge, but on top of the paper a little bit, just to kind of give it a little gradient effect like that. I like that. I like how that looks. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. Oops and maybe less gradient effect on this side. Just so it looks like the light's hitting it from a specific angle. Okay, so that looks good. I'll do that one more time here on this one. Okay, just kind of grazing it along the edge and then slightly hitting the surface with it too. Just to kind of give it that, that gradient look. Okay. Get the tip of that thing in there really good. And work the other side. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So once the inking is complete, what we're going to do is assemble this little piece. And that couldn't be easier. And what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of glue on the smaller tab here. I am going to get that out to the edge. I'm just going to fold the larger tab over on top of the smaller tab. And just make sure that it's nice and flush with the edge there. You don't want this large tab um, encroaching or, or sticking out at all. You want that to be nice and flush. You can put that down on your table. And there you go. Okay, so you're going to repeat that process four more times to create the little sections of our starfish. And then we're going to put the overlay right on top of that. And then we can begin assembling this thing. And before you know it, we'll be done. So this one is, um, this one's a little bit easier than the shellfish only because there are less pieces. But as far as the assembly goes, we've kind of done all the engineering for you so that you just have fun with it and put it together and create a nice little decorative piece for your home or a gift for a friend, whatever floats your boat. So again, just go ahead and um, finish up gluing this tab to the larger tab on the remaining three pieces. And then we'll go ahead and I'll show you the process of putting the overlays on, which is pretty straightforward. And we can start putting our little starfish together. Okay, so we've got the five segments of our little starfish here. And we've got these overlays. And as you can see here, there is a nice little arrowhead at the end of this piece. And that is going to align with the little arrow at the top of this piece. Okay, so that is your guide to help you place it. And all you have to do is just put glue on this and um, just adhere it to this piece here. So I actually want to kind of, I'm going to roll this a little bit more so that my little edges are a little more round. Okay, so that it fits on there nice and snug. So you may want to just test it out before you glue it on and just make sure that these little pieces are, are you know, they've got a nice, um, curve to them so that they fit and sit nice and flush on this piece. And that looks pretty good to me. So I am going to flip these up a little bit so that when we glue this down, they're not impossible to get to. I don't want to bend them too much. And I'm just going to flip this piece over. And I'm going to just use my little dot technique on this because I don't want too much glue shooting all over the place. So I am just going to put tiny little dots of glue on this piece. And I don't know if it's the weather or what, but my glue bottle is getting clogged at much faster rates lately. Okay, let's get that cleaned up and do a test squirt. There we go. Okay, 
So, let me clean off my nozzle head. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and put little tiny dots of glue on this piece here. Get it out to the edges, okay, and hit those little scallops in there too. Make sure that we get a tiny little dot of glue on the scallops. I love this bottle actually. The more you use it, the more precise you can get with it. And I find it to be ultimately precise. I can get the tiniest little dot of glue on there if I really, really focus. Okay, so let's get that on there. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and probably just stand up just to make sure that I don't mess this up. And just align that with the little arrowhead at the top and just kind of hold it down in as many areas as you can just to make sure that you've got it nice and aligned and centered and then just push down on all the sides here until you've got that glued down. Okay, so that looks really good, just like that. Okay, so you're just gonna repeat that process four more times and glue these overlays on top of these main pieces here. And then we can go ahead and begin constructing our, our little starfish. Okay, so I have all of my overlay pieces in place. And what I'm doing right now is just kind of putting this together, but not gluing anything because I want to kind of, you know, depending on how you assemble yours, um, you know, how much of an angle you give it as far as the little curve, um, there, you know, there's going to be a margin of error or I guess what I'm trying to say is that no two pieces are going to be exactly the same. So what I recommend you do is before you start gluing this down, just kind of get a, a general idea of how everything's going to be positioned and just kind of visualize, you know, how everything is going to sit and fall into place. Now, also keep in mind that this middle part is gonna be covered up with a flower. So it doesn't have to be completely perfect, but we're aiming for that. But if we're off by just a little bit, it's not a big deal. Um, so that's roughly what you want it to look like. Okay, and then again, like I said, the flower is going to kind of cover up that middle part. You're not gonna see it. It's gonna be nice and cleaned up, but I do wanna show you something here, okay? So remember that little flap that we didn't glue, okay? It's just kind of dangling there. There are some score marks here, and what we're gonna do is the little arrow portion of this, the triangular portion of it, should match up with those arrows, um, you know, as far as where you're gonna glue this. So I think what we should do is just get one in place and then just kind of use that as our anchor, our little starting point, okay? And now when you're gluing this down, just make sure that you've got a nice even border at the bottom there. Let me twist this towards the camera so you can see it, okay? Leave a little bit of a border down there and try to make it even on both sides. That's really, that is your main, aim and then these little score marks here those are there to kind of help you make sure that you've got that pointing in the right direction as well okay so i'm going to go ahead and get my first one glued down and we're just putting glue on this tab section here just make sure that you're getting that glue out to the edge a little bit okay i am going to go ahead and smear that out on the edge there Okay, and again, I'm gonna focus initially on making sure that I've got a nice even border. And then I'll just take a look and make sure that it's, that little arrowhead is pointing right dead center. Okay, so again, don't worry about if you're slightly off, it's still gonna work and it's still gonna look good. And we're gonna cover it up with a flower at the end. So you probably won't even notice. Okay, so we've got our first piece in place. And then this next piece, just remember that this little, this little tab here, that's gonna slide underneath this. And that's just to kind of, that's so that there's not any gaps in between these if you don't get them perfect. Okay, so it gives you a little wiggle room to, um, I guess, not be perfect, which is fine, because we are not perfect. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some glue 
on this tab here. I'm going to smear that out and just work some out to the edge there. And this is just going to make sure that this sets much quicker too. Those giant thick lines of glue sometimes, well, for one, they smear, and then they also kind of take forever to set. So again, just focus on making sure that you've got a nice border around the body of this guy. And just push down and hold down until it gets a good hold. Okay, got that arrow tip going right in the center. It's perfect. Okay, so that looks good. And I'm just gonna kind of work my way down here. out to the edge there and just make sure that that little lip thing slides underneath your next little portion of your starfish and just push that down with a nice even pressure all the way around try not to push in the center you don't want to crease your paper okay so that's looking nice there we go all right let's move it along here Get our glue right on there. Just smear that out. And there we go. Get it nice and centered. Even pressure, push down. And it's looking sharp. Okay. And last but not least, this one here is going to go under like that. Okay. I think I have a mouse in my studio. I think I mentioned that last time. Still haven't caught him. I'm a big believer in catching and releasing my mice because I feel bad. Okay, so we're going to shove this one in a little bit more. Okay, push down, nice even pressure. That looks good. Maybe just go around and check your work a little bit. Make sure that it's nice and grounded. Okay, so there is our little starfish. And then we're gonna take our flower here and we're gonna put him, I'm gonna try to offset it so it covers up these little areas here. Now I'm gonna take my dowel and I'm gonna curl these petals up because that just makes it look nice. I'll fold that in nicely. Okay, and that's going to go just like that, offsetting it just to kind of cover up our little imperfections there. And I am going to go ahead and actually put a foam square on the back of this guy. Okay, and grab my razor blade and peel that off. Okay, and let's get him nice and centered and offset to cover up our little imperfections. Okay, and then we have our little foil overlay for our flower. And I'm gonna curl this guy as well. Okay, I'm using a thicker dowel here. Sometimes if you use a thin or like a quarter inch um, or an eighth inch dowel, it can potentially crease your paper and I'm going for None of that. I don't want to see any creasing of my paper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a dab of glue right in the center there. Let me just work it out a little bit, just like that. I'm going to offset this flower as well. Okay, just like that. And let that hold. That's pretty. Okay. We're gonna finish that off with a nice giant pearl. And then uh, we're gonna center that on our little canvas. And we're almost done here. There's my pearl. I'm gonna put a nice little, oh, well, the sticky backing is kind of offset. So I'm gonna glue him on which is probably the smart thing to do anyway. Okay, so let's put our pearl right in the center there. 
sure that it gets the glue. That's nice. Okay. And let's see here. I am also going to put little pearls on these little circular areas here on these white overlays. Okay. And I should probably glue these down because these do not stick well at all. So I'm going to grab my pick me up tool, my handy dandy pick me up tool. Let me see here. Maybe some of these other ones are a little better. Yeah. The more I work with these pearls, the more I'm disappointed with how poorly they stick. So just grabbing my pick me up tool, putting down a little bit of glue, got the little pearl on the end there, just kind of dabbing it softly into the glue and then kind of running it on the paper a little bit just so that I don't have a ton of glue on there. And let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's try that one more time. I shouldn't be using my finger, I should be using the other part of my pick me up tool to do this job. Okay. So let's smear that glue and grab this part of the pick me up. Yeah. We'll just pop that in place and then there you go. It's got a little spatula, a really thin spatula that you can use to kind of place your pearls and um, you kind of push down with that other piece so that you can lift off the little tacky part that we're using to get it in place. So just kind of dipping it in the glue there, removing any excess, positioning it, and then using the pick me up to be able to lift this part off. Okay. So again, these pearls, they, they do have a sticky back, but I don't trust it. And uh, I used to, and then a lot of the projects that I used or created using just the backing that comes with these, um, a lot of them have fallen off. So, and that was Ron has told me time and time and time again that I should do that. And of course you never listen. You have to make mistakes for yourself before you learn your lesson. Okay. So just go ahead and get that on there nice and positioned right there. And then use this part of the pick me up to lift off the tacky part. So that leaves just one more and we are going to jazz up the piece um, once it's on its canvas with additional pearls to kind of mimic, mimic a water effect. And these are just not really that fun to work with. They're so small, but they totally add to the overall aesthetic. So it's totally worth a little extra effort, especially when the light hits it nicely and really adds to the piece. So sorry if I'm boring you with this, you can definitely fast forward. Okay. And there we go. There's our last little pearl. Okay. So our little starfish is all done. I can go ahead and put him onto our little canvas as I've been calling it. Okay. And just want to go ahead and get them nice and centered here. Okay. So I'm going to put them probably right about there. Just make sure that this part of the uh, starfish is nice and symmetrical. I mean, you could do it like this if you want, it's up to you. Uh, I'm going for a symmetrical look here and we are going to actually um, use foam squares to mount our starfish to our canvas. So I'm going to put one on each little foot and then probably just one in the middle, just so that he's nice and level all the way around. Okay. All right. And you know, these 
foam squares from Michael's actually peel off where the ones from Joanne, I have to use a razor blade. So there you go. If you're gonna get foam squares and you don't want it to be a pain in the butt, maybe get the ones from Michael's because they do come off a lot easier. Okay, so that looks pretty darn good right about there. I'm gonna go ahead and push that down into place. Give it a little bit of pressure, not too much. You don't wanna to, to bend it too much. Okay, so there's our sculpture. And now we have this final backing piece here. Oops, sorry about that. And you're gonna to wanna to find your little um, corner piece here, okay? And probably grab a pencil, something light. I don't know if I have a pencil here handy. I think I thought I did. I'm gonna use my pen. And I'm just gonna go with the dots this time to help me with the alignment. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little corner piece and make it and align it flush with the left and the top. And then you can draw probably just a little dot there. I'm just gonna shade that in just slightly. Just, there we go. Just so you can kind of see um, where the edge of this needs to be glued. Okay, so I'm going over to the other side here, making it flush with the top, flush with the side, and just kind of creating a little mark there to help me identify where the corner of this piece needs to be glued on. And you can do all four sides. I think kind of like the silhouette, um, as far as registration marks, I think three is enough to help you with the alignment. So I created three little dots on three corners, and that's gonna help me ensure that I've got it nice and lined up on all the sides here. It's nice and symmetrical and perfect. So I'm just gonna get that glued down onto that piece there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am actually just going to run glue along the perimeter because I don't want the glue warping on the inside where you'll be able to see it. Okay, this part here is covered up by that frame that we um, basically zotted onto the canvas portion. Okay, so good thing about this glue is that it gives you a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds to really slide things around and get them in place. Okay, and there we go. We're gonna let that dry for just a few minutes and then it's ready to go inside your shadow box. Okay, so there you go. You have your final little shadow box complete. And um, mine's still not fully dry, but you're just gonna pop it in there and close it up and you've got a beautiful little gift or home decor item um, that everyone's gonna just love. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.